stream. My name is Seth, and this is my journey to create a video game. Basically, I'm a hobbyist programmer and game design enthusiast, so I had to, to spend a um, spend a lot of time on YouTube and the internet, as it were, you know, just kind of reading up and researching that sort of stuff. And a lot of time programming, but not a whole lot actually getting into things. So, yeah, I'm kind of inspired by a lot of things. You know, who, who isn't inspired by a lot of things? But specifically, Music is a big thing. I really like electronic music. And when I was younger, I really liked rock and heavy metal. But something that really inspires me is kind of science and philosophy. And specifically for this game, I really like mechs. So this game is going to be about mechs. And mech anime sort of, but yeah. Anyway, so as far as my experience goes, I'm not a professional programmer, or I was for a while, now I'm not. Not a big deal. Important thing is that the game that I'm thinking of, essentially you will play a pilot. You'll start off as a pilot of a particular mech. You essentially use the mechs to go around and explore and scrounge for resources and other stuff like that. And collect blueprints, power-ups, parts, that sort of things. Eventually ships, crewmates, you know, kind of build up an armada. And the game is multi-tiered, where you start off as kind of a single person doing their own thing, trying to survive in a larger world or larger setting. And then as you gain the resources and the crew and other people required, you can take over your own kind of carrier ship, fly around with your crew and your little group of mech pilots. And then once you get to a certain point, you can have your own faction where more like an RTS as opposed to a you know, like a twin stick shooter or something like that. You can give your faction orders and you'll send out fleets of ships and they'll each have their own crew and whatnot to go right against the other factions that are all vi vying for territory in this big open space. But we're not there yet. Right now we're at the very beginning. And essentially, like I said at the beginning, this is my journey to create that game. So it sounds interesting, then I hope you'll come and hang out with me and just kind of talk about whatever interests you and hang out while I, I work on stuff. So, that sound interesting? Welcome aboard. And if not, well, that's okay too. Go do your own thing. Have fun. So today, I'm going to try and finish some primitive drawing or rendering things to the screen. I have a couple of things like drawing rectangles and lines and circles, but what I'd really like is possibly drawing some polygons, which since I'm not an artist, I'm not going to be doing any of the art, really. I may try my hand at it, but it'll probably be bad, so so instead, I'm going to draw, you know, random polygons, pentagons, hexagons, that sort of thing, triangles. You know, those will be placeholders for other stuff. And probably some sort of little arrow-looking guy for a character. For the time being. Hopefully sometime in the future I can get an artist, maybe a sound designer or music composer of some sort. But that's down the line. 
right now it's just me. So I'm going to get started. And like I said, we'll need to do polygons. Um, yeah, this is the old function that I was doing, with just STO. I'm writing the game in C, C++, just because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And I've always, and I always wanted to. That's what initially got me into programming in college. The desire to write games. And that's the language that I learned, so that's the language that I'm going to be using here. Um, so, let's see. What I'd really like to do with this function is be able to just say if I can spell draw a polygon with this many sides and put it at these locations this location these locations yes draw this one polygon all the times I could OpenGL lets you do that not quite what I want to do at the moment, though. So, let's see. A shader of this. Yeah, I'll think about that in a second. Assuming that everything is set correctly, I will need Blending enabled Disable it when we're done Draw things Triangles Let's go through this in steps first. All right. So first of all, we're going to need some points. That's going to be OGL floats equal to two times the number of sides. And then for each side, I'm going to want one, two, one. Just then. The problem here is I don't know what the equation is for regular, say regular solids. We're making solids. We're making polygons. Regular polygon equations. The equation to describe regular polygons. Quite what I'm looking for. Hmm. Area of a regular polygon. Well. We can do a triangle fan as the drawing property. Once. We did. Maybe we can just draw our 
Okay. Got the blade. Triangle fan. Start at zero. Gonna draw. Points are you going to draw? I think that's the number of points. Drop the rays. And again. Draw a rays. There we go. So there's the number of indices. Indices. Yeah, that should be the number of sides. All right. And then for each of these two points, we're going to do the first point. All right, not point, coordinate. And then the second coordinate. This is the x coordinate, so my coordinate. All right, x and y, cosine, sleeve, hmm, cosine of what? Start, start at a point, go to a certain distance, whatever the radius is, and we rotate by a certain angle. That angle is determined by the number of sides, which is remember the equation. Let's see. Triangle has three sides, and that goes to a total of 180 degrees. Square totals 360. Yeah. And then five sided would be 80 more? 90. I want to say something like 520. Five forty. I think it's the number of sides minus two times one eighty. So yeah, one eighty times three would be two hundred and. 40, so yeah, okay. Alright, so they give me something. Angle. Total angle. There we go. Alright, so the total angle is the number of sides minus 2 all multiplied by 180. Doesn't actually need to be a loop. And then individual angle the offset angle that work. The offset angle will be the total angle divided by the number of sides. So total angle of triangle, three sides times one eighty. Um, yeah. So it would just be that. Hmm. Oh. 
problem. So really what I want to do here is say it goes from zero to the number of sides. So I pass in three, it goes from zero to three. What does that entail? That would entail so here's this side. Point one. I'm a programmer. Point two. Or point zero. Point two. Guess I'm a programmer. Good job. Uh, point zero. Zero and one. Point one, which would not be cosine. The beam that times radius. That times radius. And that's two and three. Two, four, and five. Okay. So for each of these, i times two and i times two plus one. Really, I can just set that as I'll say p is i times two. So that should be optimized out. And with that, that should be correct. So now we just do i times the offset angle. Except that's not in radians. I think those take radians. Could be a problem. Uh, hmm. Yes. Those plus math equations take radians. Nine C plus plus. That's turns the sine angle of x x radians. All right, these are in in degrees. So really, what I want to do here, let's see, let's see, degrees just three sixty goes to radians, which is two pi. So to convert, I just multiply all of this by two pi. No problem. Take all of yeah. Okay. Multiply that by two and then by pi. This is obviously something that is just included, right? Or not. Probably not. All right, well, it's fine. We can, if I can spell correctly, you can just define it here for now. 0.4159265. Sure. Sounds good. So yeah, that should be correct for all the points in the array to set up. And what next? So I set up the points, find all the buffers, which 
technically I can buy the vertex array as well. And this is probably going to have to be its own. So it's probably going to need its own shader. Oops, that doesn't exist. Come on. Turn. Set it active when you want to draw. Let's see. Poly doesn't exist. Well, if it's equal to zero, then I'll just return. And then we'll actually do stuff. Okay. So what are we gonna need? Need The array buffer. Pass in vertices data. And we need okay. So we have minimum size times. Two times the size of GeoFloat, which is what we'll be passing in. Pass on the pointer to the number of points. Yes. And it will be dynamic drop data. Now, we need all the stuff that will set it correctly on screen. Polygon. Shaderpuff program. Green. Lost my place for a second. Okay, there we go. GL uniform matrix. Screen ID. We're going to have to pass in the screen. Yes. Sorry, I'm kind of tired today, so I'm probably a little all over the place. Anyway, I have to pass in the position, kit, attribute, location. There we go. No, vertex, vertex attribute pointer, there we go. Position D. Passing in two of those. And this is this is what happens when you visually copy and paste. I'm looking at the wrong line. Okay, come on. There we go. ID, position ID, passing in two values, because it's position, X and Y. They're both GL floats. We do not do something. I don't remember what that parameter is. No offset and it starts at zero. Nothing. Anyway, continuing on. Yeah, activate it so it'll actually be used in the shader. And continue on. So, set the color that we want. Polygon, program, color. There we go. I'm going to pass in a uniform of four floats. So it's going to be the same for all of them. Pass in the set color. Gonna need the center. That's in the center so it knows to get drawn at the right location. 
Polygon Program Center. Except this is two floats, and it's not a color ID, center ID. This is just going to be x and y values that we passed in at the top. Yeah. Looks like I'm passing in two floats. Passing ends. So technically, that's not correct. I'm just passing floats here. I mean, that's technically more useful anyway. They're going to be converted to float values, so why not? All right. Um, all right. That's not helpful. Radius. The radius? I do. Because I'm already setting the values that are going to be passed in. Technically, I'm already setting the geometry that's going to be passed in. I need to do any of this? You set the color, for sure. Center. I do. You know what? That's okay. So actually, part of this is going to be where they're positioned. If I do all this here, I could just pass all this into the shader and just render it all onto a square texture. If I do this this way, then I don't need to do blending. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Alright. So I don't need the center then, because all their positions are already set up correctly. The X is Y is the center. X, X is Y. X and Y. Alright. So we do need the positions, because that's the position of the points. The screen is the projection matrix that sets them all. Screen coordinates. Color is just the color that I want to draw it at. The radius position, those are all center position, those are all accounted for already. So should just be able to draw them. Fan. Maybe. I wanna say that's correct. Perhaps we need two more points. We would do two. Yes, we started two. Because point zero and point one would be our center points. If I'm drawing a fan correctly. I don't know for sure. Triangle fan explanation explanation edges one two okay yeah should work theoretically that should work I have viewers welcome to the stream viewers you may ask me questions if you would like or just chat amongst yourselves. You don't have to include me. Maybe you you two know each other. Um. All right. So let's see. Field triangle fan zero should right. It won't work. Granted, because I don't have a shader set up to do that. Nor will it compile. Shader. Yeah. Shader program. Polygon. Reset to zero. Polygon is a new shader. It uses the pass through vertex shader still. Okay. 
eventually all of these would be loaded into files and I'd load them all and do cool, interesting things, I guess. But not at the moment. I'll do all of that later when it becomes more of a hassle. Do I need a center? I don't. I don't need a radius. I do need a main though. All right, and what am I doing here? I'm basically just drawing it, I think. Polygon on screen, and I'm just coloring it. Just coloring it a particular color. But yeah, I think that should work. All right. Well, if that works, then that should be fine. Except I need buffer objects for that sort of stuff. IDs to buffer objects, technically. Need indices. So maybe I can just do this. And do poly. Ta da! Polygon buffer objects right there. Except they'll be named different. Because they are different. Eventually. Well, they might actually be the same. Eventually, you may end up changing these all to the same group of buffer objects. There and then B A O poly B B O poly vertices. Delete them all, and I think that's it. Okay, I'm still drawing stuff. Hooray! Just not using it. So let's do that. Draw polygon. And that is just the number of sides. The triangle at I don't know. Four eighty three twenty, because that's the middle of the screen. And I think that's it. Draw polygon. Oh right, radius. Um, thirty-two pixels. Sounds good. Actually, here's what we'll do. I want pink. Yeah, that color can stay. I like that color. It's a nice blue. All right. So we'll do. One at three twenty. Triangle at three twenty. Square at six forty. And that's not correct. Because <laughs> that'd be nine sixty, and that's the resolution of my screen. Eh, not quite. All right. Oh, we'll stick it in like this. Four eighty. Six forty. And if this works, that will not happen. We've got a cool star looking thing over here though. Oh, right then. So what's going on? Uh. 
find the arrays to x and y should be point zero sides times two hmm I'm missing a point plus two points up there want three sides have the three sides and then I'll have the center point that's what's going to fan out should be correct I believe generally I don't get these things right in one guess yeah they all seem to be going that's kind of A little weird point. Position. Okay. Those should be going. You. Those should be correct. Color. Setting the fragment color to the color that we pass in. That looks good. I mean, so basically we are drawing a rectangle. Four points in a rectangle, two, eight points, set points, passing the screen, passing the positions, passing the color. Those are the only three things that we have. And then draw. Draw elements or array depending on what what you're trying to do. Could be correct. Circle. There we go. Draw a polygon. That polygon active. That should be correct. And find the vertex array. Angle, offset angle. Say so those are correct. I guess technically I could just print all of this stuff up. We'll do that. Hi. That'll be a number. Is is a float. A float with two decimal places. Assuming that I'm remembering all of the all of these correctly. Okay. Uh, so we need, we need I as the index, and then we'll do point. Plus O and points P plus one. And that should just add new things to not quite. That yeah, okay. So that's just because I didn't include anything that actually has that. Like ing dot e. work. Hmm. Okay, not found. Not sure what it's doing here. Set up correct points, point values, I should say. Yep. I am going 
text does not exist. Well, this I am GUI text exists, so why doesn't that I am GUI text exist? Including I am GUI, I don't need to include the helpers because I wrote that one. Identify. I'm passing the wrong file. Got each. Nope. That's right. I'm GUI helpers. Now I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, okay. On. You know, this should only be applied once. That might help. All right. No, it doesn't have. Okay. That needs to include shaders.h. Not open include file shape stuff each. Oh. That would be because it's shader.h. I figure. Text identifier is still not. Okay, so that's. Oh, God. Yep. Yep. Missing colon. Very bad for people. Pretty bad for programs. All right, so point two, two, three, two. Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, makes sense. I starts at two sides. Oh, that makes more sense. All right. All right, so. Let's reduce this to value that we know for sure. Three sides. Okay. Doing that correctly? Probably going to pass the number of sides. Okay. I believe that's the number of points, not the number of sides. Number of shape points. Eh. Okay. So, shape points times two to give two values per vertex, plus two because we need a center point. Set the center point to be x and y. That's fine. Go ahead and duplicate that. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, one. That should be set at one because that's point one. It's the first point, let's say. Zero. That. Okay.
There should be one number of points of three. There should be points. I less than three. Ah, okay. Uh, that's another thing to keep in mind. Get the center point, and then because we added the center point, there's no longer three points in the array. There's four points in the array. The one more than the number of points that we passed in. Easier, a better way to keep track of this. Number, number of points is two plus the number of shape points multiplied by two. Right? No. It should be one plus the number of points. There we go. Okay. I can just say points here. We can say the number of points as well. I mean, I guess if we really wanted to be accurate. We could. I didn't say accurate. If we really wanted to be consistent, because this is going through the actual points of the shape. Start that at zero, and then as we're going through everything, we will say i plus one, and then that should be. Okay. Of course, obviously, we have to declare this. As an identifier. This is true. That should just be zero. Likewise, that should be zero. And that should be one. Okay. I was rendering things. The center point at zero one sixty. X is a GL. Like guessing, are you happier if I just set that to a float? All right, mm. I only put in one zero or one point here. Zero points, I don't get anything. One point. Two points. Should be a line. If you pass in zero, you get just the single point. And the two points would be a line. These still work? Just drawing a triangle, so probably not. All right, we can do something else then. If num shape points is zero, 
we will draw a point instead at x and y. We could draw a circle at x and y. Yeah, sure. With that radius. If the number of points equals 1, we will draw a line. And it will go. Hmm. It will go from xy to x plus radius y. Because it's cosine 0 times radius and sine 0 times radius r for x and y. All right, draw a circle, probably because it's below. Yeah, there we go. So we'll move that up. There we go. Still at zero, 160. Something's weird here. All right, what is going on? It's an X. Is X set to zero for some reason? Point zero, one. Well, that would do it. All right. I'm passing in too many arguments and it's just completely ignoring me. All right, there we go. The point zero, one, and two are not changing. I should start off at zero. x plus cosine i should be 0 times the offset angle. Be 0, so cosine 0 should be 1 times the radius plus i or plus x. Okay, sounds about right. Sine be 0. When I move to 1, 1 times the offset angle, we pass in 3 for the off the total angle, sorry, if we pass in 3 for the number of shape points, our total angle would be 3 minus 2, which is 1 times 180, be 180 times 2 times pi. Believe. All the back. Hmm. I'm doing my conversion wrong. Let's see. Ease over 360 is the same as radians over 2 pi. I can have it divided by 360. Uh, Alright. So all of that should be divided by 360. Multiplied by two. So these should be able to be cancelled out. Two divided by one eighty. Meaning number of shape points is three, minus two gives you one, times one eighty 
is 180 divided by 180 is 1 times pi is pi. So the total angle for triangle should just be pi, which is correct. That sounds correct. Okay. Offset angle should all be correct. Assuming my calculations down in the loop are correct, those should be fine too. Hey! Boom! Triangle's pointing down though. Pointing down. Interesting. Well, now all of my shapes should work correctly. So, let's see what they look like. They look interesting. They work not so correctly. All right then. So let's see. It's cosine of i times the angle set radius. Sounds correct. Plus sine of i times the offset angle times the radius. Oh, it is. Oh, correct. I have no clue though. So, back to the internet. I actually do have a clue. I could probably sit here and work it out, but I'm just gonna look it up instead. Um. Angles of regular polygons. All right. I feel like this should be. Although Ugh. I do all this work only to find out. Yeah, okay. So need the total angle. I don't think I need the total angle. So I think all of these end up just being 360 divided by the number of shape points. And that is also not great. All right, what's going on then? They all seem to start off correctly. They all go over by the correct. Just the rotations that get thrown off. All right. So hmm. Phase exterior angle angle between any side of a shape and a line extending from the next side. All exterior angles of polygon add up to 360. Okay. Interior angles. Get both of those.
exterior angle, side angle between two points, or between two sides of the shape, and the angle that it creates at the center. Changes based on the radius. Be half of the interior angle. Take both halves of the interior angle, subtract that from Okay, so we do all this. That's one eighty converted to radians. Yeah. Simplify this to that interior angle, and then the offset angle should be 180 minus the interior angle. You're forming a triangle at the center point of the actual object. on the unit circle. So the angle should the angle should be the same. So then all we do is down here use the angle in red. Surely that will fix all of our problems. This all sounds correct. Closer. So close. Is it doing? Missing a, f missing a point. Okay. Okay. There we go. I think. Anyway, same thing. All right, so there's a center point. One, two, three, four. Be another one. No, we can draw those text. All right, so let's see. P plus zero. There's three, it should go zero, one, two. Correct. B. Zero would be I plus one times two for two. So that'd be two and three. Equals one would be two times two. Four and five. 
six, seven. Which would be three. Plus the scenario would be four. Number of points, which should be four times two times the size of a GL float. That should be correct. Just me, I haven't been deleting the these points after I'm done with them. That's no bueno. Wait a minute, that doesn't matter that much. No, that's not true. It would matter because this is in a draw function. Alright, so it's times two. I mean, it seems like it's missing vertices for some reason. Points equals two times the number of points, so that should be four times four. eight, which is correct. We want eight positions. <clears throat> Can I just do the dumb thing here and do? Of points. Offset everything, but I don't think it would matter that much. No points. It rotates it. So go all the way back around. Maybe it does. Weird. Okay. And that should be all that I need. Still doesn't draw them though. Tons of points. Four points. Nope. All right. Well, I think I'm done for today, at least for right now. I'll probably keep thinking about this for later, but I will see everyone later. Goodbye.